Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the complete review of the Oppo Enco Buds. A few days ago, I've already posted the unboxing video. So if you want to know about the unboxing experience as well as the initial impressions, you can check out that video. Link will be in the description. Now with that said, these earbuds are priced at 2000 rupees at regular price and as a launch offer, they'll also be available at 1799 on Flipkart starting from September 14th. Now with that said, I'll start off the review with the design and build. So this is how the charging case looks like and the build quality is actually quite good. It is completely made of plastic and has a bit of glossy finish. Right out of the box, it definitely looks pretty good, but down the line, it might attract a lot of scratches. This is not the problem of just this headset. Any other device out there with a glossy finish with a plastic build will definitely have it and so does this. But at least right out of the box, it definitely looks quite premium and it's definitely very well built. And by the way, when it comes to colors, I think white will look much better in the long run. Now the case weighs just about 37 grams. It feels pretty light in your hand or even in your pocket. It feels pretty compact. The case comes with magnetic mechanism. So every time you open it and close it, it gives you a nice comfortable feeling. At least it doesn't feel too plasticky like those other cheap earbuds. Now when it comes to the buds, even they have a magnetic mechanism. So it's pretty easy to take them out of the case. And even when you put them back, you just need to drop them and they auto align along with the charging pins. So once again, you really don't have to worry about messing that up because of that magnetic mechanism. Well, at the end of the day, these magnets really don't cost a lot, but they definitely add to the overall experience. Now, when it comes to these buds, each of these buds weigh about four grams. They're compact, light in weight. In ear, they fit pretty comfortably and they feel pretty light in weight, which is really important for long hours of usage. It sits really well inside the ears. So even if you shake your head, it stays inside doesn't fall off easily. So I can definitely recommend these earphones even for some light workouts. I have been using these earphones for about a week. So with these pair of earphones, when it comes to connectivity, you really don't have to hassle with the Bluetooth settings. Just open the case, put them in your ear, they're connected, put them back in the case, close the lid, they're disconnected. Well, other headsets also do the same. So it's a very simple and intuitive process. These earphones also have a dedicated gaming mode with super low latency of 80 milliseconds. You can just do a triple tap on the buds to activate it. And this mode is pretty effective while playing games like PUBG. And there's definitely a difference between the normal mode and the gaming mode while playing the games. For regular usage like media consumption, watching videos and stuff, the difference isn't huge. These earbuds come with Bluetooth 5.0. They also have AAC audio codec and has a range of about 10 meters. And once again, when it comes to the range of these earbuds, there's definitely no problem. At least I didn't have any major issues when I move away from my phone. Now, as for the functionalities and controls go, we have multiple options. You can do a single tap to play or pause the music, double tap for the next and previous track. You can do a triple tap for gaming mode. And finally, you can touch and hold on the left side to reduce the volume and touch and hold on the right side to increase the volume. But out of all these functions, the single tap is prone for accidental touches. When you try to adjust the earphones or when you just put them on your ear, it might accidentally trigger a single tap function. Mostly it might start playing a random song or just pauses the song at a good moment. But unlike most other earbuds, we can actually customize these touch controls using the Hey Melody app. So I would definitely recommend you to keep the single tap controls to none. So there won't be any accidental touches. Anyway, that's what I did. You can do it if you want. Now these earphones also come with IP54 dust and water resistance. So they are good to go even when there's a light drizzle or light rain and that won't be a problem. They're also good for workouts and a bit of sweat won't be a problem. Now, when it comes to the pairing process, it's pretty simple. For the first time, you just need to open the lid and the earphones enter the pairing mode. You just need to search for them in the Bluetooth settings. Just do a tap to connect and they are paired. Now, if you want to connect these earbuds to a brand new device, you just need to press and hold for four seconds on both the earbuds at the same time and they enter the pairing mode. Then you can just search for them in the Bluetooth settings and you can do a tap to connect. Now, when it comes to the audio quality, I would say they sound really great. You can hear even the smaller details. Even at highest volume, there is minimal to no distortion. The bass is good. It comes with 8mm dynamic driver and you can notice the bass even at the lower volume levels, which is really great. There is no active noise cancellation, but it does muffle the noises to some extent. Now, when it comes to the call quality, once again, it's pretty good. These earbuds actually have an intelligent call noise cancellation system and it works really well. On calls, voice is clearly audible and there is very less ambient noise when compared to other headsets. Now, finally, when it comes to the battery life, once again, it's pretty good. 
I have used them pretty extensively until they ran out of the battery. On average, we can easily get about 4 to 5 hours of music playback time on full charge of these earbuds with about 60% of volume. Battery life does vary a little depending upon the volume. You can also charge these earbuds for about 4 times with the charging keys. So guys, to conclude, the overall design and build of the earbuds and the charging case itself is pretty good. They are made of pretty good plastic. They also have a USB Type-C charging port. Charging speeds are pretty decent. Battery life is pretty good. And the audio quality, which is the most important thing, is also pretty good. And unlike most other cheaper variants, these earbuds actually have touch controls, which actually makes the overall user experience much better. So for a price of 2000 rupees, I would say they are definitely a pretty good pick. So guys, what do you think about these earbuds? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you are planning to buy them, use the link in the description, it always helps the channel. With that said, this is Nikhil signing off, see you in my next video.